All right, <clears throat> Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rekha Kurash. The honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Citations to all that I can push in his word, which is a serious team with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the word and he calls God and Jehovah. Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is his son's name of the word and he calls Jesus. And Rekha Kurash is the Holy Spirit. And as always, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled bird, the scattered Israelite foreigner, scattered amongst other nations whose outer appearance may seem to be of those nations to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage, according to their father's line, go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are Israelites, no matter what your outer appearance may seem to be. And as always, I'm a brother you Dyer from the Grimmelstone Branch here in Chicago, and I'm back with another lesson. It's going to be entitled, If You're of God, You Will Hear This Word. You see, and they, just as the title says, those that um, who the Lord put the spirit on to hear this truth and to acknowledge this truth, you know, and, and to walk in it, a, a rejoice because a um, Yahweh desire, you know, we all endure, you know, that's just uh, it shows that the Lord is dealing with you, man, because this word that we preach, you know, it, it's not it, it's no gray areas. It's either you're going to receive this word or if you're not, if you do receive it, hallelujah, the Lord, as the scriptures say, he's supping with you, you know. But if you don't, ultimately, it's because you're not of the Most High's elect. You're not of his, of his, right? It says, the Lord knoweth those that are his at his coming. Because you got a lot of people that say, oh, I know God, I love God, and this and that. But hey, the prophet, um, the apostle James, he said, a oh, man may say he have faith, but I'm going to show you my faith. Roughly paraphrase, I'm going to show you my faith by my works, how I, how I, um, how I live, right? Because everyone say they have faith and it, it, it's all lip service. Those coming. This, um. Uh, it's in Corinthians, so like it just bear with me. I, I find it. Yeah, right. This out. Yep, this second Timothy two and verse nineteen. Nevertheless, the foundation of the most high standeth for sure, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his, and let everyone that nameth the name of Mashiach depart from iniquity, right? So the Lord, he knows who's truly um his, right? So let's get into it. This um first John four and two. Hereby know ye the spirit of the most high. Every spirit that confesseth that Yahweh Mashiach is come. In the flesh is of the most high, right? And the scriptures tell you in Romans, because we got to confess, right? Mouth man believeth, right? This um Romans 10 and, not, 10 and 8. But what saith it? The word is nigh in thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach, right? That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and shall believe in thy heart that the most high have raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So you have to believe this thing. You have to confess it, right? The scripture say, I testify my Savior openly. For with thine heart, man believe of your mind, man believe unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation, right? So hey, you believe in your heart, your mind, and you confess with your mouth, and, and also the way you carry yourself, right? So 1 John 4 and 2, hereby know ye the spirit of the most high. Every spirit that confesseth that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is coming to flesh is of the most high. Right? So you have to confess. Hey, Yahweh Shai died for our sins. He came, died for our sins to um, reconcile us back to the Father, give us that grace. And ultimately, he's going to return and save us from the hand of our enemies. Right? It says, and every spirit that confesseth not that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is coming to flesh is not of the most high. If they're not confessing this, you're not the Lord's. And it's going to say it. It says, and this is that spirit of the anti-Messiah. We don't say that word Christ. It's anti-Messiah or anti-Mashiach. So, hey, it's either you're confessing, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, or you're not, which is makes you an anti-Messiah. You're against the Lord. It says, whereof ye have heard that it shall come even now already is in the world. Right. And how much more here in the last days, the spirit of the anti-Messiah is increased upon these people. Right. It says, ye are of the most high little children and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Right. We overcome via our faith. 
It says, they are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world hear of them, right? And everything that's contrary, everything that's not this truth, every, all these other uh, smooth words that these people give you, you know, all the um, feel-good doctrines and philosophy that these people give you that's not of the truth, it, it, it works, it goes for this world because it's of this world. It's not of the Lord, right? It says, they are of the world, therefore speak they of the world. And they can tell you how to do this, do that. Tell you some sweet words. Oh, um, Jesus Christo, you you know, nobody can judge you. All that bullshit, right? It says, in the world, hear of them. And people actually listen to it, ultimately, not because it's true, but because it's, um, it's, 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 it's um, not of the Lord. You know? It says, we are of the Most High. He that knoweth the Most High, hear of us. Right? And if you do receive this word, the word that is spoken via the prophet sent here in the last days... If you hear this word and conform to it, hey, rejoice because you are of the Most High, as we just read. It says, we are of the Most High. He that knoweth the Most High hear of us, right? And you hear Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, through the voice of his prophets. That's what draws you in and, and, and helps you and comforts you and, and um, guides you. He that is not of the Most High hear of us, not. So hey, hey, don't feel bad when an individual can't get it or you steady breaking bread and you know, telling individual, individual X, Y, and Z, if he can't hear his word, it's because the Lord haven't given them to him, right? Let's go to uh, 2 Corinthians 4. This 2 Corinthians uh, 4 and 1. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. We've been given hey, this beautiful um, um, uh, job of, of um, preaching his word. Therefore, we can't quit. We've received mercy. It says, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of the most high deceitfully. Let me switch over right here because my app, it tweaks sometimes. Oh, they just it be cutting scriptures off. It's bugged out. Second Corinthians 4 and 2. But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of the most high deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man conscious in the sight of the most high. So we haven't shunned to declare to you the whole gospel. We ain't doing it in no malicious manner. We're just giving you the whole raw truth, the good, the bad and the ugly. Verse three. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. If you don't receive this word, if you don't get this word, if it, it don't click with you. Ultimately, you're slated to not <laughs> receive it, to just be an Israelite and, and just, just have to get it on the next side. It says, in whom the God of this world, which is Esau, even the sober clean white man, have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. So ultimately, the Lord really is not allowing you to get this word, right? Um, And, and that's... You no, know, you can read more, but I just want to hit the point. Um, going back to this first John four and five, they are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world hear of them, right? And people that don't hear this message is because it's contrary to this world, right? We are gonna give you the truth of the Holy Scriptures. The, the real truth of the Holy Scriptures is gonna contradict this world. And you decide whether you're gonna be with this word or with this world, right? It says, they are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world hear of them. We are of the Most High. He that knoweth the Most High, it's like it. It's like it. Let me hit verse 6. We are of the Most High. It says God right there, but, you know, the Most High. He that knoweth the Most High, hear of us. God just means power. I'm just referring to Yahweh, you know, it's the Most High, you know. It says, he that is not of the Most High, hear of not us. So if you don't receive his word, it's because you're not the Lord's. Hereby know we the spirit of truth, which we are coming in the spirit of truth <laughs> and the spirit of error, which the whole world is in the spirit of error. Whether it's following false gods, false religions, false um, uh, hallowed, uh, hall holidays, whatever you want to call it. You know, whether it be the strongholds of this world that, that got people mind in a damn bag. Regardless, it's all error. John 7 and 7, the world cannot hate you, but me, a hate of this world, hates our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Right? So they're not going to tell you what's pleasing and what's good. They're going to show you the ways opposite of it. It says, because I testify of it, that the works thereof are evil. And we have the same mind of, uh, of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, to that in the book of Corinthians. So guess what? This world does hate us, but it doesn't hate us. It hates Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, as we're going to get into. It hates the righteousness of the Father. You see, and that's where uh, our word in this world 
uh, claps. Um, that's not the word I was looking for. It's like when they run into each other, so to say. But, you know, keeping it going. John 15 and 18. If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. Right. Right. And that's the point. That's These are the words of our Lord and Savior, Yahushua. He said, look, if the world hates you, if you're being reproached and shamed for doing what's commanded in these scriptures, it's not you that they hate. It's me. Right. It says, you know that it hated me before it hated you. Right. And the scriptures tell you that the servant is not greater than his master. If they hated Yahweh and, and, and persecuted him, they're going to do the same ones that come in the same spirit. Isaiah 59 chapter tells you that if a man depart from iniquity, he maketh himself a prey. This world is run in gross darkness, gross darkness to people. And when you depart from it and start walking in the light, you become a prey. Oh, this nigga weird. Oh, he's strange. He just, what's wrong with him? Oh, he crazy. All that bullshit. But in reality, look at what's going on in this world. Look at the state of the world. You got transformers, right? You got, <laughs> you got, uh, pedos, right? You got all manner of, of hurt, pain, death, um, incurable disease all manner of, of just death right but we're but we're the weirdos because we're preaching life verse 19 if you are of the world the world will love his own right going back to that first john that we read if we was of this world we would speak the things in this world and the world would love us but we're not and rejoice that means the spirit of the lord is resting upon us this tells you i believe first peter fourth chapter it says, if you are of the world, the world will love his own. But because you are not of this world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Right. And the Lord called us into this um, this glorious gospel, the good news, and separated us from this world. Therefore, the world is against us and we against the world. It says, remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also in the world. Speaking of our people, they rejected the Lord back then. And it's the same thing that they're doing now. It tells you that hey, hey, just as Daniel was told, he's going to stand in his lot at the end of the days. Same thing is happening now. Those that worship the Lord back then, that received the Savior, Yahweh Mashiach, right? The believers back then are going to be come back in their same state now and be believers now. Those that rejected the Lord and thought scorn of the Lord, guess what? They're going to do the same thing now to receive their judgment. Now, a re re uh, revelation of 12 chapter says, now has come salvation in the kingdom of our God. Right. The, the Lord is getting ready to, to reward his servants that have been patiently waiting on him. Right. And the rest of you people are going to get judged. Verse 21. But all these things they will do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. And ultimately it's because they don't know Yahweh. If you don't hear this word, if it, it don't, if it offend you, you, you trip at it it's because you don't know the Lord. You don't want to know the Lord. Right. It says, because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not sinned. But now they have no clue for their sins. And ultimately, hey, when the Lord returns, hey, there's no excuses that can be made because you've been warned. You heard the prophets. The Lord sent the prophets. And either you listened or you didn't. Now you're going to get your just do, do. It says, he that hated me hated my father also. Right. So if you hate the prophets, which is speaking a word of Yahweh Shai, which is the word of Yahweh, guess what? You hate the Heavenly Father and you rather choose this world, which guess what is it, it, this is what the scriptures say. James 4 and 4, we'll end it right here. Oh, I can give you more. <laughs> this James 4 and 4, ye adulterers and adulteress, know ye not that the friendship of this world is, a, is enmity with God. Enmity is a mutual hatred. So if you love this world and you love the things that this world promotes, which first John is second chapter, you start at 15 and tell you to love not the world nor the things that are in it. Everything that's in this world is uh, is not of the Heavenly Father. If you love this world and you, you know, you want this world to continue and you want your own punk ass will to be done. Guess what? You're an enemy of the Lord. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. And what do you think is going to happen when your house and your house shot back? says he's coming back to put all under his uh, dominion to um, crush everything, you know, roughly paraphrasing, you see. So hey, this is just a quick lesson. If you're of the most high, you hear this word. Our message is contrary to this world. Lord, it was an edifying lesson. Call her like la. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka, Kurash. The bond to the elders and the apostles of the great millstones. I taste all that I can push his word. With true charity, with charity, Shalom, Barakatham, Wakwam, Yashur, Shalom.